This is The Hustler's Corner. Morning, 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 my brothers and sisters. I'm enjoying the brand new Mofire Dry Limbs. The brand new Mofire Dry Limbs. Let's go straight to that shop shop sign on the count of one, two, three. Click 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 thank you very much let's go to that subscribe button over there click thank you very much don't forget to switch on the notification bell the first disclaimer i'd like to throw out there ladies and gents is that i am not a financial advisor i know nothing about giving people advice these videos are purely and strictly for educational purposes and i do not give information or tools um that are gonna make you better. I'm only just here to inspire you and just to keep sharing the knowledge as I keep learning it on a daily basis. I'm a new person in cryptocurrency. This is strictly for beginners. My page is for my subscribers to encourage them to go do their own research, to go get courses from repeatable platforms, to go follow other people who are more knowledgeable than I am to teach them about cryptocurrencies. Now, I'm a long-term hodler, right? I'm not, a, I'm not a trader. And even as a hodler, somebody that is investing in Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies for long term, I am still new, <laughs> you know? I've made money out of it. I've lost money out of it by scammers. The market has been going up and down, but it's just a beautiful experience that one has just discovered. The um, bug has bit me as well. I'm very addicted and I love encouraging people to go learn about digital currencies because they are the future. Okay, now let's get into this issue. El Salvador, which is a, um, a country in Central America, has just been the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin. El Salvador has just become the first country in the world to officially adopt Bitcoin. Now, you can walk into a Starbucks in El Salvador and buy using your Bitcoin, buy your Starbucks. What does that tell you? Every time there's such good news in the cryptocurrency world, it's positive for all of us that are fanatics of um, cryptocurrencies, right? It's actually great news because it, it somehow not only just influences the market, it just continues to prove that cryptocurrencies are the future. We may delay the system, we may like it or not, you may have your own opinions, I might have my own opinions, but we just know that cryptocurrency or the blockchain technology is the future. Now let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin yesterday morning, I woke up and I tweeted, wow, it's such a good thing to wake up to Bitcoin sitting at 52,000 US dollars. And the day before, I woke up and I tweeted something similar and I said, wow, it's so good to wake up to Bitcoin sitting at $51,000. And then yesterday was sitting at $52,000. And guess what happened the rest of the day? Yeah. The market just went bumpy, it went up and down. And I think the whole cryptocurrency world wanted to see with the um, official adoption of Bitcoin in El Salvador, if that was going to have any um, effect or impact in the marketplace. Jeez, wasn't it a bumpy ride? We went all the way down, guys, to about $45,000. From $52,000 at 5 a.m. South African time. We went all the way down sometime a couple of hours later to about $45,000. And a lot of traders obviously uh, understand the analytics, understand how this works. I don't. I can't predict the market. I know nothing about prediction of the market. All I know is that um, I'm new in Bitcoin, I'm new in cryptocurrencies, and I'm an investor. I've made some returns over the past couple of months, and I'd like to encourage my followers to go be knowledgeable, to go do their own research, and be educated as far as the space is concerned. But the great news is that El Salvador has just become the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin, and that is great news for all of us. Although it was a bumpy first day, <laughs> <laughs> it was a bumpy first day, but it's great news. I think we are hoping that other countries are going to follow suit. We are hoping that South Africa in the future will follow suit. We don't know how politics are going to affect the adoption of Bitcoin. We do know, though, that obviously they want to um, regulate the space. They want to tax the hell out of us. But uh, yeah, we're excited. We are crypto maniacs. We love crypto. We are crypto hustlers. We are learning it. We are new. We know it's the future. And congratulations to um, El Salvador. Although it was a bumpy ride yesterday, the first day, we woke up at $52,000 on Bitcoin. And during the day, it had to go all the way down to $45,000 US dollars. But then again today, it's back again at around 47,000 US dollars. Let's hope that it's going to be a better day. Let's hope. Um, but guys, remember, guys, don't um, invest with emotions. 
if you keep your eye too much on the Bitcoin price on a daily basis, you'll be emotional. You'll want to sell your Bitcoin. I don't sell my Bitcoin. I've only sold a bit of it to go buy some land, which I'm going to develop and make money in it, meaning I'm reinvesting. I sold an asset to go re reinvest in another asset. Although Bitcoin is the future, but I want to balance my investments of investing in real estate, land and property and investing in uh, cryptocurrencies. Because in the future, some of the money I'm going to make from my returns, I'm going to buy more land or develop more property or buy more property, put it out on rental and get some rental income, borrow against it from the bank get some money again and buy more cryptocurrency and then vice versa and i'm not giving anybody advice here on what to do with their own monies but those are some of the things that i love doing uh reinvesting my money from one asset to another i mean reinvesting to a young person's company or startup company is something beautiful if you believe in it you believe in the idea you believe in the future of that business you believe in that young person and their team or um reinvesting your money into your own community reinvesting your money into um profit uh, what, what is this non-profitable causes if, if you feel like doing so doing the lord's work it's also a great thing so i've reinvested in all sorts of different things but as now a professional investor who's still new in cryptocurrencies I'm loving what I've done over the past couple of months with my returns from Bitcoin that I, I have actually reinvested that amount of money into buying stands from XIC Noble Properties. I'm going to put that link in the description and I'm going to build in those stands. I'm going to build houses and then I'm going to borrow money from the bank to build those houses. And as soon as they're up, I'm going to put in tenants there. I'm going to get rental income and I'm going to pay back the bank its money while the years are going and my property is appreciating in value. And um, basically that's gonna be my hustle over the next couple of years while I'm learning a whole lot of other ways on how to um, keep reinvesting using Bitcoin, using Ethereum, learning more about the cryptocurrency space and also learning more about real estate because you can never know it all. You will always have to learn new things. So congratulations to El Salvador. Let's hope that they become an example to hold up more countries, especially South Africa. Since I am from here, I'm looking forward to just buying a can of Mofire Lenora. Buying a can of Mofaya Lenora using Bitcoin, using Ethereum. Those days are coming, guys, whether you like it or not. So it's time you start educating yourself and you learn about crypto. And quickly, before I let you guys go, let me tell you what I did when it dropped all the way down to 45. People who are looking for short-term gains, they get angry, they get disappointed, or they sell their cryptocurrency because they panic. It's not about panicking and making decisions on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Just look at it from long term. Have a five-year plan. Have a 10-year plan when you're going to invest in cryptocurrencies. Like, that's why I'm buying my Bitcoin. It's for long term. It's not for me. It's for my children's children. It's a long-term investment. And anybody that understands investments will tell you that investments don't yield profits quickly. I'm going to that's the reason why they invest our parents' um, pension funds. Companies like our PIC, or let me say they're supposed to be investing our pe parents' pension funds wisely. But we do know what happens as well with big business and politicians and politics and all of that. Now, we're not there. We're just happy that there is a liberator called cryptocurrencies. There is a liberator called Bitcoin. There's a liberator called Ethereum financially. And we are learning it. We want to know more and more about it. We don't want that space where... You're just working every day, every month you're paying your UIF, but you are hoping to get those returns the day you retire or the day you leave that company. That's the mindset that I use when I'm investing in Bitcoin. I'm buying it for, for the future, for the day I retire or for the, for the day I die, for my children's children. Because it is the future and that's what I'm learning and that's the information I'm gathering right now. So what did I do when it dropped to 45,000 US dollars? I bought more. I'm not saying you must do the same, guys. Don't do the same. <laughs> Don't do the same. But I buy more. The more it dips, I buy more. Because the game is to own as many units of Bitcoin as possible. To own as many coins as possible. Remember, we are buying it in fractions. Nobody has got like the entire 45,000 US dollars to buy one full Bitcoin. We're buying fractions with whatever we can afford. But the goal here is to own as many units, as much units, as, as many coins of Bitcoin as possible. So when it drops, it means you can buy more units because it's cheaper. Even if, yes, you've lost a bit of returns because it's gone down but my investment trick or how i do it is that when it's cheaper i buy more because i am long term in this game i'm a long-term hodler i wish you guys a beautiful day and congratulations to el salvador welcome to crypto <laughs> this is the hustlers corner